What's going on everyone? Steven here. In this video I'm going to show you how to check out some stuff in scripts that uh, once a game update is applied. So if you were to like download this cheat table and try to run it right now um, <clears throat> Cyberpunk 2077 just got a game update and some stuff in here broke and uh, I noticed something that I must have just been like completely tired because what I ended up doing for my solution was just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to change that and make it much better, and I'm going to show you how to do it, alright? So we're going to do infinite ammo here. I'm not going to do everything on the video just because you can kind of rinse and repeat for other scripts if you want. Um, this is still working. The weight pointer uh, from the physics DLL where it's pointing to weight here, so the no carry weight works fine. Uh, but anyway, infinite ammo, I noticed that when I enabled this and I tried to take a shot, it crashed the game. So if we open the script, the first thing that you can do is look at the array of bytes here. You can copy that, right? And you can keep the script open. Now in Cheat Engine, you want to select array of byte from here. Make sure hex is toggled. You're probably going to see writable checked. You want to scan read and write, so make sure it's got like the the dark box filling that in, okay? Then you're going to paste that byte array here, and then go first scan. And we can see it found one. Alright, so that is what would be found from an AOB scan here in the script. So you can right click on it and go disassemble this memory region. Okay, and here in the disassembler, we see that result. Okay, so now what we can do is go look at the snapshot of code or look at what the script is doing, right? And so the problem is that where this was found before, the jump if not equal is jumping to this offset, 1A7E686. But now it's 1A7E466. <clears throat> so, when we enable the script, it's going to jump to our code injection, and it's going to always jump to this incorrect place now, instead of jumping to the correct place. Alright, and so since all I'm wanting to do is jump to, to always jump here, I don't need to have this whole script with a AOB injection and all that. I can just directly write the bytes here to change them to jump. So it'll always jump. Because with the code injection, this is jumping to our injection and then it's just immediately jumping here. So all this other stuff I'm doing, it, it doesn't matter. We don't need to allocate memory. None of that. <laughs> so let's just uh, write a script from scratch so that we can get a new snapshot of the code. All right. Uh, actually, we will reuse this. This is what I normally like to do uh, for when I want to keep track of versions. Okay, so I'll keep this was the initial version, but now with the new update on here, I'm going to go Tools, Auto Assemble, Template, AOB Injection. Just say OK and OK because we're not interested in anything except for the snippet here. I'm going to copy that snippet, Command X or control X rather and then control V alright so this is you know update one something like that Let's say this is release alright so now I can kind of you know later on if something drastically changes I have multiple snapshots of what the bytes look like around this cheat so that I can try to more easily maybe build my own array to scan for so that I can you know read the code All right I'm gonna close that and uh, actually let's see I can just copy these bytes but anyway alright all that we need to do we can delete all of this and we can delete all of this okay and so what we can do is, just to be safe, you can right click on this and go copy to clipboard. 
and we'll do bytes plus opcode. Okay, I'll paste that here. All right, so uh, this is the location, right? So we can say at that location, db, which stands for declare byte. Uh, you don't have to do db. You could instead just have that, but I like to declare bytes directly and keep this as a comment. So we'll do that, all right, and keep that as a comment. That lets us know what the instruction is for what this is declaring, okay? And then what we can do is also assert, let's see, we can define uh, as, what is this, inf ammo, this location. So all that this is doing is we can say inf ammo now for what we mean to reference with this, okay? So we can assert that at inf ammo we have these bytes, right? And that assertion is just going to make sure that at this location, okay, um, we have these bytes. Actually, I think this should be reversed. So we'll define that location as this. All right, <clears throat> pretty sure that's right, we'll find out. All right, so anyway, now what we can do is here, we can say inf ammo, we'll do that. And then for the disable, we can copy this. All right. So this is, these are the original bytes, okay? But what we're wanting to do is always jump. So 7.5 should be EB and this will be JMP. And I just know that because I've done this stuff for like six or seven years now. So I know what certain bytes represent uh, opcodes related to instructions. <laughs> but what you could do is just right click here uh, or double click and say JMP and you'll see what these bytes change to and you'll see that it would be EB. So let's change that back to JNE. Alright, so define that. We assert that these bytes are in that location um, and if they are this will enable and so these bytes will be changed to always jump there and then when you disable it will restore. Alright, so I'm just going to say file assigned to current cheat table. Close that and then I will enable it which doesn't work because I probably don't have the syntax correct. Cut. Paste. Let's say OK and let's see what happens. There we go. All right, now it's not. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Inf ammo, it's that location. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure why it's not untoggling. Inf oh, it's because I didn't register a symbol probably. Yep, that's probably it. So I should have defined do that and then register symbol Enth ammo so that down here we can unregister Enth ammo we'll say okay all right and now what we should be able to do is here we'll change this back to JNE okay copy the script that's just kind of hung up right now and so now just pretend this one doesn't even exist okay so now what's gonna happen is we when we enable it we're going to register a symbol and then the disable should work alright so boom we enable it and then boom we disable enable disable alright so we enable it 
Sorry, I, this has taken a little bit longer because, you know, it's been a while since I've used Cheat Engine regularly, and I just kind of want you guys to see, you know, that I, I have to sort stuff out too, <laughs> you know, remember stuff and whatever else. All right, so now let's uh, bust out a weapon and try to fire it and see if the game crashes. It doesn't crash, and we have no reload. Uh, we have infinite ammo and no reload because of what I decided to do for my cheat for this. Okay, and now if I untoggle that, boom, back to normal. All right, there we go. So that's basically uh, jumping in and kind of remedying a script yourself. Uh, or even a cheat table. So if the game updates, you don't necessarily have to wait for someone like me to go update my table because typically I get busy and work and whatever else or I just move on to another game and I just can't be bothered with going back and updating every single thing I've ever done. You know what I mean? So this just, I'm teaching you how to fish, if you will. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, all right. Cool. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will talk to you on the next one. Take care.